Uh, welcome back to MMM Cast or mm-hmm. Cast. Um, thank you for sticking around. I hear you guys had an awesome one shot um, for a few hours, so I'm sad I missed that. We're going to jump straight into Dungeons Dragons 5th edition now. Um, where we left off last time. Uh, who where remembers? was that? We were just about to attack somebody. Yep. Trapped in a room. So, Sickened. Uh, beginning of the session, Hank ran down Mika. Right? Mika was uh, Rook's old contact from kind of the... And close personal friend. And <coughs> friend. <laughs> um, she gave you guys some information that Tarek, um, the, the flower shop owner that you've met before, and Who Shaw's right-hand man... Um, okay. <laughs> we don't know that. Um, is hurt in her old bar. Uh, seemingly from the ministry attacks or the ministry raids that were brought upon by Rook giving up all of his contacts. Under duress. Under duress. Um, And yeah, we started uh, bright and early uh, the next morning, uh, bringing Sven along to infiltrate the Lost Key um, and see if you can take down a a wounded Tarek. Um, We did, you guys did a really good job getting through the first uh, and second floor, really, uh, identifying all the traps, um, keeping the stealth score low <laughs> enough that Tarek seemingly doesn't know that you're oh, there. Well, seemingly is not really a great choice. Well, I mean, seemingly. <laughs> do you want to go back and have the traps take away half, half your HP? Because you know. No, 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 I mean, seemingly, the, when you said seemingly yeah. stealth, but I'm like... Mm. I mean, you guys think that you're quiet enough for him not to know. Um, we think a lot of things. And we ended last session, uh, Rook hasted. And kicking in the door yeah. to right. the last room. Drawn. That's a good point. So I'm ready. I will allow any ranged attack to get off their attacks. Well, we haven't even seen inside the room. Yet. Yes, but when you do, I'll allow held actions from ranged. Okay. So, are, what are we holding? Bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. Firebolt. Firebolt. At least three grams of coke. Okay. <laughs> <My> Five. <favorite. laughs> guiding bolts. Guiding bolt. Okay. Guiding bolts. Fire bolts. Arrow. Fortunately, too far Nothing. away. Yeah. yeah. Um, spin too far away as well. All right. So as you. So I came from here. So I had five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Kick in door. Twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Beep. Mm, we're gonna movement speed. we're gonna start mm, now. Kick. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, buddy. We're All right. Do it. <clears throat> Where can I do this? Initiative. You. Me, so maybe he just doesn't want Rook to kill Tarek in the first turn. That's all. <laughs> I don't know if I'm worried about that. <laughs> um. All right. Rook's like Tarek is short for Taras. <laughs> <laughs> We've killed one of them. <laughs> at that level was in 20 world of darkness. <laughs> and also world of darkness so who knows and also in that one we had him on our side mm-hmm. as you kick down the door um, everyone who's in line of sight sees straight ahead to this very secretive very hidden Tarek in the corner mm-hmm. um, he is at a, a workshop uh, looks like he's missing his right arm um, and with his left arm he's kind of uh, doing some tinkering on the actual arm oh, itself one arm guy um, as you knock open the door, you see him turn around and a kick, open. kick open the door dramatically. Um, we see, uh, yeah, so I'll have everyone uh, who's ranged go ahead and pop off their attacks. That's for an initiative. Crit. <laughs> I'll let them do all their rules first. So that the advantage is for 27. 27, okay. 28. Wait, yeah, I want to double check if that'll let me do that. Oh, yeah, I want to do it. Just you know, open about. What Mark, are we doing the 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 blah, 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 the mist attack thing that I have? The add two d fours to anything that I want to do for divine thing. What's that called? He missed, so he's using a class feature to try and hit. Yep. Got it. Um, are we doing double dice for the crits or double the dice? Double the dice. Okay. Yep. Double. Okay. What's your attack? No. What's your sorry? What's your damage? Oh, I was like what? 20. 20. 
Uh, 34. 34. Oh! No, sorry. Sorry. 20 hits. Yeah, 17 times 2. So 20 plus 14, 34. Okay. Uh, I never do a firebolt so to do 34 damage. 10, 18. What is, break that down for me. Hmm? The fire versus the radiant. Oh, no, it's all radiant. Is it? Mine's all radiant. For Guiding Bolt, that's all radiant. Okay. There's no fire in Guiding Bolt? No, no Guiding Bolt is radiant. Okay, cool. Um, Mine's all fire. As your 20 hits, um, arrow goes straight, streaks straight ahead, hits him in the chest. Um, you see it digs deep into his chest. Um, as your fire bolt goes off, you see he kind of pulls out the arrow and the uh, wound starts closing with fire. <sighs> um, and then he takes the... Radiant? 18. 18 radiant. from the radiant. 34, and it's all healing! <laughs> I have no idea how you shot a fireball through the... <laughs> Between the legs. Between your legs. Oh, okay. You At this stingy. point, roll initiative. <laughs> We're feeling a little toasty down below. Yay. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> it's Chris. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, Mark. Ooh, Rook, what did you get? 21. 21. Got it. Oh. What's Dream? your next? 14. Higher than mine, I'm sure. 14. 17. 14. 15. 17. Um, what's your dex? My dex uh, is plus three. Okay. Wait, does Hanks give you something for initiative? No, I don't think so. I think he would. 17 as well. S- Yours is better, right? Dex is five. Okay. Is they didn't say anything. Hmm. And yours uh, is? 21, but after Rook is advanced. All right, guys. Um, first up in the round is going to be Tarek. Rook. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I will rush forward. Okay. Rushing forward right in front of Tarek. Okay. Um, and then for my first attack, <coughs> I will attempt to grapple. Know if that's gonna be worth anything, but he is glowing. I don't know how that'll work for you. And I did rage before, like when before kicking the door. Before I kicked the door in. Mark the charger. All right, so that's a. Uh, if you want to verify this twenty right here, it's a natural twenty. It looks yeah. like thirty-one. No symbols. It's just strange. That means it's a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Thirty-one athletics. Yeah, he. Okay. That's that's better than his strength check. All right, and then so haste gives me one extra weapon attack, and then I have my second extra attack in the middle, so I get three more attacks. Mm-hmm. <coughs> okay, that's a nineteen. You roll these two with advantage because I will be recklessly attacking. Okay. Just so you know. Um, so and the, sorry, I'm tired, but the. Restrain, or sorry, the grapple doesn't give you disadvantage on anything when you're attacking, right? No. Or any effect. It okay. just means that he cannot move. That's all it really means. Just cuts his movement. Got it. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I'm using every single plug. Every single what? Plug. Plug? Do you need a plug? No. Okay. I mean, this was the last one. <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to do 9 plus 12. 21? Third, 21. <laughs> 10 plus 12? No. Yeah. Okay, so my lowest attack was 21. Okay, they all hit. Okay. <sighs> okay, so that was 4, 5, plus 24, so 29. 29 points of damage? Okay. Yes. As I rush in... Get my arms <clears throat> under what would be usually two of his arms. Realize this one's free, and then just start elbowing the back. Of his <laughs> <head>. <laughs> As you're elbowing the back of his head, um, you see that it uh, kind of just uh, just a a little bit of a movement, not really affecting him that much. Um, even with my magic, comments. even with your magic. Comments, <laughs> next up is Bishop. I will kind of be the man that's feminine. Let's go. We cast haste, and then I will haste up beside Rook, and use my extra attack to attack. Extra attack? The no, because I get I hasted myself as well. Ah, extra I haste, hasted action. action. Yeah. Yeah, which isn't too good. Sixteen. 
Sixteenth is not him. No. Ooh, Finn's gonna have a bad day, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of just like prepped it to for defending myself after that. Uh, and then you said you're running up next to. I'm right next to Rook, leaving the spot like completely adjacent to. Oh, that dash guy. That's dash guys. He dashed. That's Bishop. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah, he's right there. Dash don't go dash. And then so I'm just gonna go fill him in that last little spot so he can. He ain't going nowhere. Okay. Hopefully. So next up is going to be Dash. Did you roll this your first time? Mm-hmm. You can do it, buddy. 18. <laughs> 18 is what you need. Oh, man. You can do a dream. You get I have plus some. 8 to your attack. Oh. So that hurts really bad. Yikes. 11 damage. And what are you attacking with? Bow. Bow? Magic. Okay. <laughs> that's that's magically enchanted with magic. You are adding oh, the magic. plus one from your magic. I am. But... Is it magic? Yeah, it's magic. Okay, got it. I wasn't sure. I mean, you unless the shopkeep magic. duped me, yeah, yeah, someone. Hmm? So then, was that shopkeep? I duped mean, you me. didn't have gimbal check. These are all true. <laughs> I'm, <even helping. laughs> I'm just saying you gimbal. Never did you're up. Okay. Um. Learned my lesson about fire early on, so I'm going to cast fireball oh, no. with ice instead. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Do you um, have I don't. Do you, want magic stone? you, you always can do that fireball with ice. Toll the dead. No. Toll the dead. Oh, oh I was like, that's interesting. There's a class feature. For What's the DC? Sixteen. Opponent type. What the words? It's a wisdom. Yeah, he doesn't make it. Cool. Uh, 16 damage. Suck All right. Suck it, boy. Suck it, boy. <laughs> Gong. <laughs> okay, so... Six. Nobody use fire! <laughs> uh, next up is Tarek. And are you moving at all? Uh, no. Okay. Change P in this guy. Okay. Well, I did. I just... From what Mark is saying, we haven't done any damage yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, no. did the psychic damage do damage? No, yeah, yeah you guys okay. have been doing damage to it. Oh, okay. Yeah. You were saying, like, he's just going, like... Yeah, I mean, he, he seems like a very imposing figure, and it's not affecting him very much. And if he's, like, a construct robot thing... I mean, I tore those go, like... things apart before. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to slip over really. this way. Uh, uh, attack cannot. of opportunity. No, you right. cannot. That's right. Um, <laughs> he's propelled. He can try and break out of my grapple as an action. Yeah, it's at the top of his turn. His movement is set to zero. So okay. I need a... <laughs> no. Go. No. 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 <laughs> I won't. A constitution saving throw from both of you. <sighs> Are you sure it's not a strength? No, nope, definitely constitution. Why are you complaining? You have good con. I know, but I get advantage. <laughs> uh, so that's an 18? Does not make it. Eleven. Does not make it. <clears throat> what? Make a concentration he got a 7 check. and that was okay? No, he didn't make it. Yeah, that's my concentration I got an 18 and it didn't make it. Oh, okay. There's dragon's breaths who have lower DCs than that. <laughs> Mark, are you trying to tell us something here? I think Mark wants to play a new game. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, and I'm done with that. <laughs> Mark's tired from work. He's like, I'm just tired. <laughs> oh, he's rolling so many dice. I know. 34 poison damage to both of you. <laughs> as he breathes in and uh, smacks his chest, you hear something crack, and just this uh, purple ichor flows uh, into the room. Um, you guys taking the damage. Does it stay or is it dissipate? Uh, it's dissipating, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yikes. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up is going to be Dream. Is that an ongoing effect? No. And it's 36 damage? 36, said? yeah. If I'm right here, can I see him? The only way to see him is going to be here. Okay. And I just have to avoid this hex? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you can okay. just, that's easy enough once they called it out. All right. Um, I guess move me 
I think I have to use my full 60 to just, I guess, be right here. Okay. Wherever I can see him, but as far away as possible. <laughs> you can see him from there. Okay. And then that's your um, action as a dash. Wait, can I do hex as my bonus? Mm -hmm. Okay. And suffer, motherfucker. And you do doing strength <laughs> checks, probably? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. Sounds so he's good. now has disadvantage oh, on strength checks. Um, next up is going to be Sven. Uh, Sven's going to rush in. Hi, Sven. <laughs> Sven, be careful. He has really bad breath. Oh, I can smell it. <laughs> <laughs> Not as bad as cookies. <laughs> Nat 20. Right. Two of them hit. He's a hasty boy, too. Oh, yeah. He's hasted? Yeah. And for now, not 20 or not 20. Just not 20. Oh. <laughs> yeah, only Mark's characters are allowed to do this. <laughs> 12. Just watching the description. It's like, and Sven tears into him, feeling every inch. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like the only damage done to him this turn. <laughs> and it's double damage. <laughs> oh. Rook punches him and it's like he feels like he's being tickled. <laughs> <laughs> he begins to giggle. <laughs> as Sven does twenty eight points of damage to him as you're holding him um, in a full Nelson? Is that what it's called? Full <laughs> Nelson. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he comes in first with uh, a left hand right to the stomach, uh, right hand to the to the face, and another uh, a left hand to the stomach, doing pretty significant substantial damage to him. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's your turn to make up for it. Wait, no. All right. Next up is going to be Rook. Rook. Monsieur Rook. All right. Uh, I still don't have advantage for anything else, so four reckless attacks. Okay, re-rolling all of those. Okay, so that was... Uh, 12 plus 9, <laughs> hits. so that one hits again. 14 plus 9, hits. Uh, 8 plus 9, 17. Nope. Uh, and then a 14 plus 9. Hits. So okay. three hits. Three hits. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's what we're looking at. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. 12, 13, plus the 24 again, so... 13 plus 24, so that's 37? 37. Okay. And this time, I'm just kind of like, just banging my head. <laughs> I don't know how I'm doing it. Well, I just have one arm free, so I'm just kind of like reaching yeah. around and like... Okay, you're punching that same spot, yeah. and it's, yeah, that Sven uh, identified to dent first. In. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you mean that, that Sven had defined for it? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. Um, next up is Bishop. I will <laughs> cast at third level. My only other, both my little spells are gone. But I will cast Armor of Agathus. Okay. And then I will... On Rook? No, on me. Uh oh <laughs> I need it for this. So I cast it on me. Then I will do my attack. 20. Yep. For 13 points of damage. And then I will... Oh, run away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. One, two, three, four. And then, like, right around there. That's a good spot. I like that spot. That's a good spot. But you'll use your hasted action to no, disengage. I, to attack. I wanted to hit. Oh, yeah. Cause <laughs> <laughs> What's your AC? Oh, oh it's 20 right now. <laughs> Um, he does. I expect him to do like twenty damage right now, and for me to get like get out. Yeah, wait. Don't be saying these things. True. <laughs> oh, he rolled. No one mentioned my hit. I mentioned it yesterday. I don't have to mention it again. <laughs> do it yourself, or do you feel like I don't? Yeah. Um, you take uh, 15 points of damage as he also takes 15 points of cold damage as he swings down at you um, and the biting frost you see kind of uh, encompasses uh, part of his fist. 
just he hits it and my armor goes out like Rook, Rook goes like this <laughs> <laughs> I turn around the corner he's like Ooh. Ooh. it's like a cold tin can <laughs> <laughs> what, did you do a concentration check for that? Feeling yes. cold, cold, cold <clears throat> natural 20 again wow Ooh. I think that means that you get like two for free, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys are hasted <laughs> yes all right, next up is going to be... Oh, and then don't forget to... Yeah, that's, oh, that's right. right. And go on. I like to put, put like, just like on that side of my second height a little bit. I think I might be able to help. <laughs> okay. Next up is going to be Dash. Be ready. It's coming. Be ready. Um, oh, he ready. 25 to hit? Yeah, 25 different hits. <laughs> Doesn't hit this time. <laughs> 100 yard dash. Ooh. Uh, 21 damage. 21 points of damage. It's like no. 30 feet dash right now. <laughs> what? That was the quote I was trying to think of. What did you say? It's Utopia. I don't know. Flash, flash, 100 yard dash or something like that. As you, uh, your arrow strikes uh, true, next up is Gimbal. Told the dead. Told the dead. Because we can't fire anything at him. <laughs> You really have no other damaging spells. He makes it. He makes it? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't have a lot that are going to be useful in this because my other ones will hurt you guys too. Right. Does he take half damage from it? or No, because I'm not uh, evocation. Okay. Next up is going to be Tarek. Um, I wish more of our party was melee. So I could just knock him prone, and then he'd just come in and kick him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, just the two of you in that corner. If you knock him prone, Sven and you is enough melee. So he will use his legendary resistance to break <gasps> through. 5, 10, 15, 20. 20 I'm sorry, what? 5, 30. His, at the top of his turn, his speed is still zero. Mm, no, he's using a legendary action. Because I can use. Yeah. Attack yeah, of opportunity. Yeah, attack of opportunity. For me too. Because he ran past me. Sure. Oh my God. Mark's like you're gonna need you it, using, so might as well. What are you using? <laughs> Bow. Bow, so disadvantage. I would like to make the attack of opportunity to knock him prone. Okay. <laughs> what is? Uh, is that a special ability you have, or? No, it's just an attack. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> like a trip, <laughs> be, trip jet. A shot for a trip. I did get a twenty hit. Twenty hits. Okay. Yeah. I did get over a twenty. With disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah, I got an eleven and a fourteen. Cool. But I think it's nine. Fourteen damage. Ooh. Fourteen damage. This is why I need the sentinel beat. <laughs> yeah. Because then I could have done that. <laughs> Twenty-three. 23. Got it. Only we were level 8. <laughs> right? Alright, and as he fashions into your backline, he's going to need a constitution saving throw from Dash, Gimbal, and Drain. <coughs> well, this is why I asked what everyone's HP was. <laughs> um, 19. Doesn't make it. Doesn't make it. Nineteen. Not twenty. What's the number? <laughs> Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yep. Eighteen, 18 doesn't make it. <sighs> Marcus, what do, do to you? <laughs> For real. The kid in the catacombs. <laughs> Is That's a hundred percent what this is. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta believe it's this. Still, still salty. <laughs> he threw shield guardians at us last week, and he was like, "Fine." <laughs> <laughs> all right. All those who did not succeed take thirty-one points of damage. All those who succeeded take half of that. Thirty-one, and I can't. It's not. Is this considered an attack? No, it's a save. magical ability. Okay. Yeah. Thirty-one points. Thirty-one points. And if it was a deck save, you'd be able to. No, not yet. Right, that was cold. 31, so be oh, you said 19, Gimbal? I'm sorry, 19 does make it. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so you take so, half. Okay, so you 31? Half. Yeah. Okay. Oof. Half of 31. Got it. Yep. But you still, you got 18, so you still take the full. You okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, next up, lot. after Tarek's turn, totally is going to be Dream. Ruining my turn, but yeah. <laughs> I cast Armor of Agathis on myself, and if I could take 
if I could disengage or whatever and like move. It would be your bit. action to disengage. I wouldn't. Okay, well then armor bag this. Okay. Well, and then move and then do what Bishop did and take the hit. So he takes take damage. the attack of opportunity. So but still take damage. Did, I don't. I mean, okay. If I mean, it's up to you. If you think it's worth it, I. It does fifteen damage. Okay. <laughs> it's up to you. What's your AC? Um, fourteen. Yeah, that hits. Um, you're gonna take. Remember, I need you to step back. Uh, fourteen points of damage. Huh? I need you to step back. <laughs> okay, and then he takes fourteen damage as well. Fifteen. Fifteen. Each time it's hit until it's broken. Mm -hmm. Okay. 15. Remember that one-on-one -on -one fight where mm. I went back this one the damn thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the entire thing. <laughs> so where do you need to step back? Um, if you just take one step back, switch yes. with the door. How far can I move? Uh, full movement. Just one. Okay. Yeah. Then yeah, thirty feet away. <laughs> away Along the away. wall, I guess. Thirty. <laughs> Brave Sir Dream ran away, away. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sveno. Maybe not. It's a con save. I'm a little scared. Oh, have, does he get... No, never mind. I have kind of planned to get you out of melee with him. I was going to thunder wave him. But now Sven's closer, so I can't do that. I mean, well, you could probably... You could move here if I needed. It's a 15-foot cube. Oh. Do you have to center it on him? Yeah. Oh, okay. Don't yeah. center it on him. Let's send it on me. Oh, it's centered. Oh, it is centered on you? Yeah. 18, 28 points of damage. Mm, just do it. <laughs> it's just Sven. <laughs> if we lose Sven, I can't handle that. I can't. And Gimbal was the one that killed him. <laughs> Gimbal would never survive. Well, the if you take a play. step to the left, so you if you take a step here, uh -huh. yes. you're still within his threat range. So there's no attack of opportunity. Do it there. 15 foot. So that means 5, 10, 15. Oh. I don't know why I was thinking. I don't know why I was thinking. Oh, I'm time. moving. <laughs> Good rook. It's your turn. Uh, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I want to stand on top of Gimbal and then do, as my first attack, shove him back. Okay. Strength? Yeah. Uh, that's a 17 plus 11, so yep. 28. <laughs> you definitely shove him. So you right. shove him back against the wall. Mm -hmm. Got it. Which moves him out of your threat. Thank you. Uh, and then I think I had at least five foot movement left. I'd like to move into that space, putting myself between him and Gimbal. Got it. And then I have three attacks left? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Hasty boy. <laughs> no. I don't even know how to get to move again after the shove. You can oh, split up your haste? Haste? Yeah, you can split up your you, you, can, can split you, can all, you can split your move yeah, as much as you want. You but can, how come when I cast a spell, I can't move again after it? Like, if I move and then cast a spell, I can't move you again. Use your, all of your movement if up you that use, one turn. If you use all of your movement. All right, can. I'm sorry. I don't mean to derail. I just... I made my con save. For, okay. Casters kind of lose their stuff when they got a food. I just... I swear there was a situation where this exact thing happened, where somebody did something, and then it was like, no, you can't move after you've done that, but... I'm sorry, it's not it's not important. I think, so if it was this one when you moved from here, it was because you used all of your movement. No, she's talking about no. It's too oh, fast. Right, 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 right. It's too I mean, that's, that's the rules. You can use it all Okay, of your that's movement. good. I was under the impression of something else. So whatever. I don't know why I'm complaining. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! 14 plus 24 is 38. Yes. To hit? No, that's damage. Okay. What'd you roll to hit? Uh, 12 was my lowest okay. roll, so. Like, that hit eight before. So damage. It keeps hitting. <laughs> All so right. I was trying to speed it out. By just no, no worries. No worries. <laughs> buddy. Um, next up is Bishop. What do you do? I will take one step closer to Gimbal. And I will bust out my last bits of sorcery points. Touch myself. And wait, no. You both succeeded it, actually, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. I'm going to move over to Dream. So 5, 10, 15, 20. Boom, boom. Twin spell. Twin spell. Kaboons. You get the seven, and I get more. Thanks, or do you seven. want it to be the same roll for both? It could be. It, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. I'd just like to point out that Rook has less than 60 HP, and they're 
and then as I <laughs> use the rest of my movement to run farther, I will do a ray of so hard. I'll do a ray of frost. Okay. No, it does not hit. It, How much more movement do you have? Ten. Ten. Yeah, so it would be ten just down the barrels, so I'm hiding behind the barrels. Cool. Got it. That works. <laughs> All right. Next up is going to be dash. Uh, 26 to hit. Did you roll that with advantage or no? Well, uh, I did not roll with advantage. Okay, cool. I was just checking. I roll damage dice at the same time. Got it. Cool. Because he follows your advice that you told us a few weeks ago that we should roll our damage with our attacks. I never said that. Who's Coulter? Oh, Coulter's Uh, 21 damage. Don't put words in my mouth, Leo. Oh. Twenty-seven damage. Okay. How does he look at my words? It's hard to tell. Yeah. With with his body and his uh, construction, it's hard to tell how much damage he's taken. He is getting significantly slower than the beginning of the fight. Okay. Does he look out of legendary actions? That's what I want to know. He didn't have used one. Yeah. Um. Next up is Gimbal. <laughs> What's he beaten? Uh, 16. Yeah, he makes it. Gosh darn it. Oh, okay. Me. Gimbal's also going to run away. I'll go next to Bishop. No, get away from me. Go the other way. Yeah, there is no other way. Go here. Okay, I'll go there. Okay, so Where? We're all together. All uh, at the corner of the building. Take some done. cover maybe from that little corner. To be honest, splitting everybody up, Dash, you probably should have moved back into the room. Okay. Next up is Tarek again. He is going to move around, taking the attack opportunity from Sven. Doesn't make it. Um, and he's gonna unleash another no. cloud of poison. So Dash and Rook, Constitution saves. Nineteen. Nineteen makes it. Eighteen. Eighteen doesn't. Stop so hard. I have a mic effect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. Gimbal, what the hell is this thing? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a robot. <laughs> <laughs> How come we go our entire lives without ever meeting a robot and then in the course of two days? <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling they're kind of connected. <laughs> 42 points of poison damage. I'm down. I take half. You take half. I'm down. Well, hopefully you still have some reach spells. Oh yeah, no, I got. Some, I can still heal. Next up is going to be Dream. <sighs> All right, he's getting two Eldritch blasts in the face. All right. I'm so stressed out that I'm not gonna hit him. <laughs> so traumatized. Okay, well, twenty, and then that one doesn't. Probably that's thirteen, so that's not it. No, twenty does hit though. Okay. Uh, he is hexed. True, extra damage. So 10 plus 5, 15 damage. 15 damage. <laughs> Sandblaster. <laughs> <laughs> you do such, so much damage to his paint job. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never get your money back on that. <laughs> definitely going to suffer. <laughs> and then sure, He hits, Sven hits once. Once? Yeah. He hits once? Once. Super hasty boy. Super hasty boy. <laughs> Next up is Rook. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move around the bad guy. Okay. You're just in range. All right. Uh, and then I'm going to use my hasted action to uh, give five HP to Dash. Got it. <gasps> You're back on the battlefield. <laughs> Oh, I forgot you can do that now. <laughs> yes. So as I lay my hand on you, a red ribbon flows from my arm, healing your wound. Uh, and then I'm going to use my normal action and do another shove. <coughs> Chevy boy. Chevy boy. Uh, that's uh, 25. You're still adding your AC bonus to plus two, right? I haven't. No I mean, one's attacked me. Yeah. <laughs> Five or ten. It's just five. Five? Okay. It's just so Dash can move. Got it. Taking it after. Got it. Close the gap. 
and then I get two more attacks. <laughs> Does an 18 hit? 18 is what you need, yeah. Okay. And then uh, 19 plus, so that's fine. Yep. Uh, 2d8, 4, plus 16, 20. 20, got it. <laughs> I love barbarians. I roll... Three. Can I still do twenty damage? Yeah, it, was like, it was like, oh, oh. <laughs> Bishop, you're up, buddy. What are you doing? Right. Every hit's a so good hit. So that he's brought brought back up anyway. I am going. Well, I mean, to... he still needs healing. I just wanted to. He has Did, five HP. I have five. Do you have any idea how much I need to heal you to survive another one of those oh, gas I know. attacks? I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I just figured you could save a heal spell if I brought Dash out. Yeah. Oh, I need to spend my. What are you doing, Bishop? You're low. I am going to do two different rays of frost. And I'm going, after I do so, I'll move a little bit. But first ray of frost, 25 to hit. Second ray of frost. Ooh. First one hits. And that is 2d8. Ooh. So 10 points of frost damage, and his movement is reduced by 10 feet. Okay. That'll be helpful. And then I will move. Like over to here, so like it can like peer over the, the barrels to help for more later. <laughs> okay. I mean, I would love to grapple again, but like I'm not gonna survive Ooh, another one of those gas attacks. attacks. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it's characters because I could do that. I keep forgetting. Okay. You hex them. Yeah. Boom. Cool. Um, it's dash. a little bit different. You're up. What? It's not the hex spell. It's hex fine. Spell it's it's, it's fine. It's different. It's different. <laughs> it um, my sword does more things if I hit with God, my sword. God, just... My toes hurt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's, not not hex. it's not hex. hex. <laughs> Am I going just inside the door? Okay. Of that room? Pop back out. Well, he did say that Dream could hit him from all the way in the back of the room, so you could move even further. <clears throat> I mean, if you could also range, just kind of be there. Yeah. It's like... Yeah. yeah what are you doing, Dash? Covered, um, attack. Okay. That's why I sit at the door in case I want to. Uh, twenty-six to hit. Twenty-six hits. Eighteen damage. All right, you line up your shot. You see the same spot you hit before that was kind of healed over with fire. How do you kill him? <gasps> oh, uh, same thing. Okay. Scream bloody murder. <laughs> <laughs> With a big yo, yeah. uh, the arrow streaks out. Um, you see it kind of catch more air than it usually does, hitting him straight in the chest and going a little bit further, all the way to the uh, to the what's the name of the arrow? The fletch. The fletch uh, down to the fletch. Um, and you see him eyes go lifeless, falls back. Immediately, I tear off its head. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I back. Roll a strength. Hand, the foot on chest. <laughs> Roll a strength. Okay. I still get advantage on that. Yep. <laughs> uh, just straight strength. Straight strength. Uh, yeah. That would be 22. Yeah. Just barely able to wrench it off. <laughs> <laughs> and then I throw it again. <laughs> 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 you usually take all the cursed stuff. <laughs> he's not cursed. He's just mean. <laughs> oh, then melt it or something. <laughs> no, don't use fire on it. <laughs> um, can I check the body if there's anything on there? Yeah, investigation. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go into the lab. Okay. Sven, you want to grab the other leg? Yeah. <laughs> 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 they give the, one of the legs to Dream. One of the legs to Bishop. I'm, I'm to I want a away. finger. Uh, 22. 22? Okay. Um, on his body, you don't find much. Okay. Um, he seems like uh, kind of similar to the clockwork things that you guys fought, mm -hmm. um, but heftier. Uh, mm -hmm. He's he's built of like solid steel, okay. solid uh, I guess iron. I don't know if there's steel. I guess they're still in this steel. game. Yeah, yeah steel, solid well, steel. Yes. Yeah. Would we know? Was he a warge for, warforged? Um, would we know that? I don't know if we know what a warforged yeah. is. Yeah, that's okay. more of an Eberron thing. Okay, and you can do a Gimbal can do an Arcana check. Mm -hmm. I would say. Okay, I'll go to the body then before I go to the workshop. Um, and, and 
Well, I guess you could just investigate the head that you're holding. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, 19. Similar to construction, similar to an iron golem. Um, he is uh, enchanted, um, but a very complex enchantment. Something more so than a regular iron golem or a golem that he oh, kind of get. Okay. Um, intelligent. Uh, most iron golems aren't. Most mm-hmm. iron golems can't speak. Um, and you've interacted with him. He can many plan. Times. He can do spells. Yeah. Well, no, all the spells that you've cast was were through items. Oh. Okay. Yeah. But he can use items. He yeah. Speaking of, let's. I want to check that workshop. Yeah. He's got his items there. Go can I help him as well? Sure. Yeah, Investigation. Yeah. Thank you. Rook is gonna come over here with these stairs. Pat next to him for dream. Are you? They're gonna have a nice. Am I? I'm eating. I guess <laughs> yes. Is that? I or wait. To, you can eating, both roll. Eating is star fry. Yeah, so. you can both roll for it. Okay. I know that's why. Uh, and this would be investigation. Okay. So that is twenty one. Nineteen. Wait, with guidance. No, um. It on there. You kind of check through the desks, or uh, sorry, the drawers of his desk or his workspace that he has. You find another um, seal of the Empire, forged, or, or sorry, counterfeit, it looks like. Um, you find a few potions, uh, two potions of healing, um, and one, uh, actually two flasks uh, that jet black. Um, you see, like, it seems like they, there's just like jet black gas inside of them. It doesn't feel like oh. there's any weight. There's oh. no sloshing of liquid. Yeah, don't shake those. <laughs> <laughs> I poke it. Well, those are... Wait, Mark was showing us shaking them. We never <laughs> shake them. Shake them vigorously <laughs> and explode. Um, uh. You have two files of darkness. So mm. when broken, uh, they cast the darkness spell for oh, the duration. Oh, neat. Okay, two files of darkness. Yeah. It's time for Dream to take that Sea of Magical Darkness invocation. It's Devil's on site. I still could cast Darkness whenever. <laughs> well, once a day. How many well, times are we going to cast Darkness? <laughs> yeah, uh, so it's a Seal of the Empire, Vial of Darkness, and what? Two Vials. Got it. Okay. And then and two, then portions, two of portions of healing. Portions of healing. Yeah. I'd also just like to point out that the only person who's ever used Bishop's Darkness ability was me. When I was in control of your no, character. I used it. Okay. During the, I just had to fight, fight her with it to fight. Oh, her yeah. Hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that doesn't Ready even count. That was when you were cheating. <laughs> that was when you were cheating. cheating without really cheating. <laughs> um. Now that we have that stamp, he no, didn't have two of that. He didn't have any thing like that on him. Like he wasn't activated by that stamp or anything like that. What did you get on your investigation? Oh, like a 20 something okay um after seeing that stamp and going back through his body uh you do see signs of where a stamp or where the seal was um previously. partially removed previously okay so okay so this is same pretty close same people as the other yeah ones. this this one is a little higher quality okay a little improved. You, you feel like the other one maybe had a few um, enchantments in it. This one, uh, you can probably do quite a few. Okay. Um, yeah, this one is kind of a, a better class of, okay. of actual enchantment. The seal is? The seal, yeah. Hmm. So the seal, is that what actually activates magical items? Like when No, they, so from what... it to us before. From, it, it, they, so every magical item in the, the kingdom has to have that seal on. So what I'm saying is having this magical seal is what allows magic items to function. So you can have a magical item that functions without the seal. Mm-hmm. Um, however, there's a steep penalty. Uh, if you're caught up, without. Up including death. Got it. Uh, if you're caught with a magic item that doesn't have the seal on it. Which means you have to register it with the ministry. Yep. Right. So if you I get, I get all that. Yeah. 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 And this stamp might actually work. The other one was not didn't really work right? the other one it seemed like they were still in like the testing phase yeah. um this one you can see is well worn it's it's well used oh that means there's several counterfeit magical items that they made mm-hmm. okay 
I'm offended by him still being on the battle map. Please. <laughs> for me. I actually <laughs> think I want to take both of his kneecaps because I think I'm going to make some bone armor for Senpa, or oh. Senpa, <laughs> And he gets up. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> well, he doesn't have bones, though. Okay, yeah. well, I, I was just making a joke, but... Okay. <laughs> Who is hurt badly? <laughs> I'm not allowed to say I. You're not allowed. <laughs> right. I have five left. Sorry, I'm just gonna... I'm just saying, percentage-wise, I'm pretty low. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right, let's throw down. Do your math right now. Let's go. You get 13 points. Okay. How do you do a percentage? <laughs> you fi- it'd be your low divided by... No. Lower number divided by higher number. Was it really? Yeah. That w- well, then you move the decimal. Thirty-seven percent. I'm at thirty-seven. He's at nine percent. <laughs> you really want to go? Up. You want to go? Well, I'm at one hundred percent. You're at one hundred percent. Oh, you didn't 13. take any damage. I rolled nice. a one and a two. You. you took some of the. And you crit, unfortunately. Yeah. Damage, so yeah, you took. You I took did damage. Crit. I have an arcane ward. Oh. It's not going to hit me. Didn't even yes. say anything. Treats like hobbits. Like, I swear to it just shimmered. Killing you, Gimbal. And, and I didn't know he, the shield. I should have went all out with him. <laughs> that wasn't He's all out. <laughs> <laughs> he gets up off the ground. Like <laughs> We're going until you're an attacks, <laughs> Gimbal. <laughs> just kidding. Um, yeah, so you kind of uh, poke around a little bit here. There's nothing much more unless anyone else wants to do investigation. I want to check them boxes. Go ahead. No. No. Investigate. No. I'd stop you from doing that. This is these boxes are Mika's. They're not his. I go into his room and so. check that chest. That one was already checked. Oh. So the whole the room has been checked already. I investigate the rest of the I mean, place. And he can check the boxes without like. I don't necessarily take anything, but I investigate. But Dash can do it. <laughs> Eighteen with guns. 19. 19? Okay. Um, you investigate the rest of the building, um, and you don't see anything out of place. Uh, you don't see any more traps. You feel like you, you got all the traps. Um, everything else is mundane objects. It looks like uh, down here you see kind of the, all of the fixings to make a, a tavern run. Um, you see some portions of food, some portions of ale, all that good stuff. Um, nothing that stands out to you as being out cool. of the magical or belonging to um, Tarek. Cool. We want to bring some of this ale so we can have it for me because it's hers. I mean, really, she could just go back to managing this bar now that it's... Well, who knows? She just worked here. It doesn't necessarily mean it was hers. Or it was... I thought it was her bar. It was her bar, but the... I mean, Sven... Or not Sven... Um, Shaw sure. and yeah. Tarek uh, took over downstairs and kind of paid her money to be able right. to like stay there. So but it, it was, was her theoretically bar. her bar, yeah. but it wasn't really her their bar. territory. Yeah. Yeah. Also, how are we going to get across town with all of these beer barrels? <laughs> like bring one. I mean, we're all again, we're all coughing up blood. <laughs> I'm fine. Okay, Gimbal, <laughs> grab one of the barrels. <laughs> I cast levitate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> we can just push it. <laughs> How long does that last? Uh, ten minutes at a time. Can we get a crest? <laughs> you couldn't get to still cry. Just, just, How I, long is the walk? Just, just, I think it was... Fish, or, uh, if, if I remember correctly, you think it was 45 minutes or so was what I said? Okay. So if I cast Levitate... Wait, 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 wait. Because wait. last time we got jumped on the way home. So let's... <laughs> like, can you imagine we, can... we drop something no, on someone? Well, we can barter Use with all your spells. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now if somebody just jump us, you just shove the ale at them. <laughs> I will grab two barrels of the stupid ale. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think we're actually talking about taking ale. We're just joking. Oh, oh I was going to say oh, oh, okay. You guys can take Yale, um, but if I cast Levitate at third level instead of second level, how long would it last? Does it go up as you? I don't think it. It doesn't list don't anything. Work that way. It Something. would last ten minutes still, right? Oh, okay. You, you so I mean, so I could cast it four times before we cut back if I use all of my spell slots. Let's not. You definitely okay, could. it's fine. I'll let somebody else carry it. It's an option. Really, I was going to be useful. Go for it, but be a nice gesture. Everyone. The guild would love some more 
Let's be clear here. I'd just like to point out, this is the rough part of town. It's not like what's in these barrels is, like, gold. <laughs> also, let's be clear here. Rook was upset for Bishop for looking through stuff, so why are we taking something from yes, this place that's now? what I'm saying. Well, that's why I said, we why are we taking take it to it? give it back to her? Yeah, so that wouldn't be, like, I stealing it. That. I don't think yeah, we were actually going to give it back to her. I oh, to. why not? Yeah. Well, Rook, I got the feeling that we weren't doing that, so oh. that's why I'm like, I don't understand why we're doing well, this. And there was no gold anywhere. No. Mark doesn't give gold. I mean, it was raided by the ministry, so I don't find any gold. Give one for me, and give one to the guild. I say we start heading back. I say we rest for an hour, and then head back. Since uh, Rio's making me feel bad, you guys find uh, (laughs) inside one of the barrels 94 pieces of gold. (laughs) The party fund just went up. (laughs) <laughs> I, I'm good with resting for an hour Oh yeah, I'm definitely good with resting You guys are resting here? No. Where else do you, should we I'm rest? just, I'm asking yeah. Can, what, what about the alarm stone? We leave this and go to a cafe across the street That works and for me then <laughs> <that's> <laughs> <where they> <laughs> <are>. <laughs> I always knew the book date was the bad part of town I mean, you guys could also We go to the south go to side of the Right? Yeah, let's the rest. Still cry. We're just afraid that we're gonna get jumped on the way home. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. <laughs> I think that Mark wasn't planning that, but now he might be. Uh, he it's rolled a bunch of stuff just now, so. <laughs> Mark did. Yes. Um, I rolled for gold. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I still want to spend hit dice. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. <laughs> and the cafe across the street looks nice. There's it's no the cafe side, across the street. It's the Southside Book Day. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is closed down here because it was all raided by Ministry. Um, but you can find a little spot here. Uh, do you have the alarm spell? Yeah. Uh, I do. So you could cast it into the... Lantern? Uh-huh. Sure, I'll do that. I cool. have no more hit dice for the day. Five, 16... And I'll cast it as a ritual, so I don't have to use this spot. Cool. 32. And do you add constitution to each yes. hit die roll? Each? Okay, so 32. And I get... What is this <laughs> And I get a third level spell slot back. Nice. Why am I so bad at math? <laughs> well, I mean, if you had done your homework in high school. <laughs> Oof. I told you that in college. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, in my so 30s, what percentage you still at, must be incompetent. What percentage are you at now, Rook? Uh, I have seven, nine, uh, I have to do the math on it. <laughs> <laughs> It then needs to do more math for the percentage. Right now. <laughs> uh, 86%. Hmm, I'm still at 70. <laughs> what are you guys, are you guys doing anything during the short rest? Uh, no. Um, if there's any, get anything back, I does he have any, like, books in the room? He wasn't a wizard. I know, but, like, I don't know if he has any, like, manuals Did or things on himself on or anything like that. No, I checked. Check. You didn't cast any spells, buddy? No, he was just before. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. No, so Shaw, make sure to take those from him. Mm-hmm. I checked. I mean, really, the ministry took them from him when yeah. they raided. Way to go, Penny. Yeah. <laughs> Even though we're eighty percent sure the ministry is in on all this crap, right? Yeah. Well, some of it anyway. So I'll we head st- home. Back. I also doing nothing during your short rest. I'll study the, um, the seal. Okay. To see if it's like if it is counterfeit or if it looks like it was stolen from the ministry or like what. Make an arcana. Sure. And he's bothering me around a weird glowing thing that will explode on the side of the ship. Not that you can see. Um. Eleven. Eleven. Um. You've never seen an actual in, uh, imperial seal, or okay. the the actual like form of an imperial seal. Uh, you get the feeling it's probably not. Uh, this is kind of Jerry rigged. It's it's okay. probably not uh, something like this that they use for There's multiple like, productions. Gauntlets have the Imperial Seal on them. They don't. And his bowstring. His bowstring does. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> just, just stamp it real quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do I know how to use it? You don't know how to use it. Yeah, no. I'd be afraid to do that. Just. I just assumed Penny being in the ministry yeah, was registered by Carl. Nope. How do they go about registering that kind of stuff? Um, I don't think you should. There's a process where you, you have to send it to uh, Zrakar proper. 
and um, they strip it of all magic Maybe and the reform inside. the magic. No. <laughs> uh, I'll try to use the seal just like on a box. Um, so it's just kind of like wrought iron. You hit the box, nothing mm-hmm. happens. You I feel know. like there's something, there's some kind of ritual you have to do to actually okay. imbue it with magic. Well, or imbue the seal. On, ask him. <laughs> I kicked the head. No. <laughs> yeah, I do kind of wonder if I just like firebolted just the head and not the body. <laughs> you can like... try it. Okay, we take all the body parts, put them in the other room, close that door, and then let's try it. If do you we, want me to do anything it? Anything like Iron Giants. <laughs> we need to encase them in concrete first. Well, well, I guess we can just I've blow never up. seen that movie. We can blow up <laughs> the head. Worst comes to worst. Yeah, I mean, I could always just fire. crush the head. Just do it. Do it. Firebolt them in the face. I mean, firebolt, you're going to give it, what, 9 HP? Okay, I'll firebolt the head. All right. Um, Mark's yeah. like, cool, now I can actually take you guys out. <laughs> As you wind up the spell, shoot it at the head. Lay dormant. All right, well, that's useless. Yeah, yeah. Kick the head. <laughs> <laughs> Check the body. <laughs> I think we should really just destroy or dispel the magic on it just to be safe. I open Casey the door and make fixed. sure the body's not moving. Body's not moving. Okay. And then we should take some time to check out that stamp, see if we can get it's Too bad there's no there. such thing as, like, trash compactors in this world. Can I... Uh, does it seem like dispelling would work on him? Now that he's deactivated? Um, since he's deactivated, there's no outwardly magic, okay. magical thing about him. Um, but you can make an arcana check for me. Okay. Hey, James. <laughs> Thank you. Too kind. <laughs> arcana? Mm-hmm. Thirteen. Thirteen? No, I mean, he seems pretty dormant. I don't know. I feel like we should just like take the head somewhere far away from the body. I feel like we should take this whole thing out of here so that if somebody comes looking for it, they don't find it. How heavy is the body? He's pretty big. How heavy? Uh, like split between us, could we? You yeah, split between it? the party, you could probably do it. Because he's in pieces. Yeah. <clears throat> I can. I mean, I think. All right. You're just going to be like I'm carrying a body down the street, though. No, just put him in one of the boxes. True. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm put trying in to in a box, in levitate rules, it. I have a 20. Yeah. I, I think I can easily, like, without being encumbered, carry like 300 pounds. Really? What's your score? 20. Hmm. I don't remember how the encumbrances rules really work, but I think. I, I mean, I believe you. That's, um, you would probably be able to carry most of his torso. Um, but like the head and some of these other stuff would have to carry by the party. Let's get a few boxes. You and Sven could carry the biggest boxes. It feels too heavy for him, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Well, I have like a blanket because I have my bedroll and everything on me, so I can wrap it in a put sack. A blanket put it over, over there, a yeah. stick. A stick. We only hold the ones we can. You know? <laughs> I'll just put his head in my bag. Okay. I mean, we could fit like huge things in the bag, so I don't see why an arm couldn't fold up into one of our backpacks. You can fit huge things in the bags. Yeah, like like. Pickaxes and stuff. Oh, I see. <laughs> like bend it at the joint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, everybody make a finger check. Make sure there's no finger sticking out of anything. <laughs> we take a thorough time to check everyone's check. bags to make sure there's no fingers or anything. Okay. <laughs> All right, you check everybody's. Um, looks like Bishop has a finger sticking out. You okay. <laughs> pull it in. I didn't see everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> um, where are you taking? The pieces. Sven? Yeah, Sven, where should we take these pieces? <laughs> need to Definitely not back to still cry. We should just drop them at different places yes. around the city. Like a ditch. Uh, so they're far apart from each other. Is there like a canal? Mm. Is there a place for I oh, think no. that Rook should Melting also it would be bad. smash the Does head it until it's useless. Give it to different, um, because if smells. people find all these pieces and put them back together, bad. the head should be useless. Well, it's, you should smash it. You can always hide the head of pennies with the other stuff that we have. Well, in for a penny, in for a pound. <laughs> but there's My... no current magic inside of the armor or inside of the cave thing, right? It's just faint lingering bits. If we separate it all, give it to different smithies, boom, they got some metal to work with. And my parents yeah, are at pennies. I don't want to leave yeah, pieces I'm of not this near them. Oh, we need to get them out of town. We really need to get them out of town. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Um, smash the head. Smash. Yeah, I'll smash that. the head. For yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah, it takes you better part of five minutes to kind of smash it beyond all right. Well, you said he had metalworking tools in his office, right? Mm-hmm. 
So can we take? <laughs> well, well there are more tinkering tools. Yeah, yeah. more for dexterity than power. Oh, but can we take the tinkering tools? Sure. Okay. Yeah, Never. we just take anything that looks like he was here. Yeah, we make it look like he left. Okay. Right? Yeah. Makes sense, like that, right? Like that. All the spells are right. Press to digitate any like stains or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, go around. Bing, bing, bing. Yeah, just make it look like the poison stains out of walls. Okay. Read a little note. I left. Don't come after me. Not really. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Did we find any writing samples on you? Any writing samples? Um, like a shopping list or... <laughs> Maybe a personal check. Nuts. <laughs> Bolt. You can see head. Um, next oh, uh, open journal next to what was his arm. In that journal, you see diagrams of the arm itself, um, kind of schematics, and underneath writing. You can check that out. <laughs> no um, note, but thank you for that. Yep, of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so where are we taking... Parts. I just have a question sure. about the traps. Um, can they're not movable, right? You and can dispel can them. Can I gain any information about traps by looking at them or not? Okay. okay. Uh, is there like a river that runs through Osmond? No river that runs through ocean. Um, no. Why do we? It's kind of middle continent. Um, like a well. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> You could probably find wells around town. We to could go back to the fort we were at and throw it in the lake. It's yeah. a long walk. I'll take deep, care of this. Don't worry, I got money in my bag. The the fort run by the ministry? That 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 fort? We're gonna dump a body in a in the lake at the fort run by the ministry? Yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, first thing tomorrow we could go out to the wilderness and just leave it in random places. That's Each awesome. one of us go out in a different direction. It's also true. I think, yeah. that's, I think that's probably the best idea. Also, I think we're spending too much time worrying about this yeah, body. Let's go get rid of it. The lake so it doesn't look like a leg anymore. It's just all of the leg. Can you smash it? Yeah, I just want to take the time to clean it. Okay. It's just a Compact. How strong are you? I'm not very strong. It'll you take me like 30, 40 minutes. probably need out. Rook. Smash. I am not just Guidance. some machine. <laughs> To smash the <laughs> <laughs> Smash, smash, smash. I use my sword and use my charisma. <laughs> I kind of want to keep the hand as a souvenir. All right. Okay, so but just... evidence of so, crap. I know. So, <laughs> we're already letting her keep metal. Movements. I know. Breaking it down. Mm-hmm. Are we going back to Steel Cry and then in the morning going out yes. and doing the thing? Okay. Okay, head back to Steel Cry. You guys have an assortment of uh, parts in in different bags and different places. Um, get to Steel Cry at this point here. After your rest, you probably are looking at around. You said after your rest, one o'clock. Everyone hit a long rest, real quick. No, <laughs> you said after your after rest. your short rest. Short rest. Yeah. <laughs> so after your short rest, you're looking at about one o'clock or so when you get back to Steel Cry. Is there like someone who does? Metallurgy in steel crime? Mm, no. Is there anywhere nearby that does metallurgy? Um, there's a few shops, a few blacksmiths, yeah. No, we're not bringing anyone else into this already. We've already indicated Sven. We're going to hide these. I mean, I'm not in- indicating anyone. I've destroyed this until it looks like scrap. I'm selling some scrap. That's shaped like an arm. Yeah. I've, that's what you crush for. Yeah, even if I crush it, it's still shaped like an arm. It's then probably got. It's, not it's probably like got arm. pieces of like wire and stuff running through ruddy. it. It's probably got, magic now. It probably has wires and stuff running through it. Yeah, there's there's components and cogs and stuff inside. Like you probably have to take the better part of a day and uh, some really high DCs to get this to look like regular metal scrap. So we would time. need the blacksmith to make it look like metal to sell to the blacksmith. That's essentially what he's saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're going to take a full day of resting and do nothing for one full day? I mean, and whatever you guys are doing. see why okay. anyone else, I mean, you what are probably want to rest, right? I do want to take, I mean, like, I actually have a fair amount of spells still, but. Okay. So, yeah, I, I mean. I vote rest. Do we rest or do we dispose of the body now? Well, I'd rather be safer if we're gonna do this differently, but I do want to test something. What do you want to test? I was just gonna sit over and just like blast it with fire, try and melt down. Well, the we've we've determined that fire does not damage it. It absorbs the fire. It completely yep. absorbs the fire. Yep. Does anyone have a spell that changes things into other things? Gimbal, with your check, you know that the body itself is impervious to magical ways of forming it. Right. Yes. 
Um, so the body itself is impervious to magical ways of deforming it. Oh. I didn't want to make a big bonfire. I give up. <laughs> it absorbs fire! It's <laughs> not magical. This would not um, be magical. I mean, <clears throat> any fire. Because it's an iron golem. So we're getting back to Steelcry. Yes. We have all the stuff in our bags. Are we in wanting one box. in in one box? Are we wanting to rest now, or are we gonna do the woods plan and spread them out? If rest first. Happens, I'm not gonna be helpful. Rest first. Rest first. I'll stay up with the pieces. Right, say, dream. You can watch I'll the pieces. Yell. Keep I don't the know. head separate. <laughs> okay. So who's still combat ready? I mean, in, yeah, I don't have any abilities I mean, that don't need to recharge. All right, so us three will hide as many of the body parts as we can while these two rest. Okay, are you guys taking full rests? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You guys. So going out to random woods somewhere, right? Kind of outside of Oswin. Outside of Oswin. So it's taking you. <laughs> soups out, and there's a label: <laughs> random woods. Random wood. <laughs> You're going to the random wood. Um, it will take you to get outside of Oswin to a place where you're comfortable with it. It'll take you the better part of probably four hours, um, if possible. I would like to find a big cliff. Okay. Throw my box off of. Because I think a box sitting in the woods would be too tempting for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could bury it. I've got a kid. Um, roll a percentage die for me. Definitely bury your guys' parts. <laughs> Did we split up too? 97. 97, okay. You do find a pretty good cliff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you chuck the whole thing off. As you see it fall, you see a wooden box break open and kind of pieces of metal body parts laying in, on top Scattered of the box. Scattered all over. Scattered in like maybe a 15-foot area around the box. But still scattered. Still scattered. I went and buried the head. Okay. Buried by piece Whatever pieces too. you have. Whatever pieces we have. <laughs> all right. Are you guys doing anything whilst doing that? Like we're all separate. Right? Yeah. Creepy too. Well, like in your four hours out there. I mean, yeah, in your four hours out there, I would say you're together. And then when you get to the woods, you split off. Are you doing anything in the walk? I lead from different exits of Oz. Oh, like, really? As far as part as possible. Okay. So they wouldn't even know where they go. But different. staying within like the civilized part. You okay. Know what I mean, so like there's no. There's no shenanigans. I don't want to run into dragons or anything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like um, being alone. <laughs> Well, just run. Okay. If something attacks you, just run. Well, I feel like sticking it, maybe. So you're able to bury all your stuff, um, make it back to Osrin. I would say you get back pretty quickly because you don't do much burying. You just kind of throw it off and you're like, ah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> you guys get back at around the same time, um, heading back to Osrin. Or, sorry, heading back to Steel Cry. Anything you're doing? No. Okay. I mean, we need to rest at that point. Okay. So. All right. So at this point, you guys get back. Um, so around six six thirty or so uh, at Steel Cry, um, lay down, very tired. Um, you go down for your long rest. You are currently engaged in a long rest. So is Dash. Well, he only needs four hours. Yeah. So he's actually probably done. Yeah. If he started right away. Mm-hmm. He's supposed to be inactive, but he's not transient. Yeah. No, I think they just have to train for four hours. I think you still have to stay inactive for six. I don't know. No, it's four. As long as you're It doesn't really four matter. Four meditating, but yeah, either way, either way, he's he's okay. Um, yeah, um, you guys are all sleeping. Are you doing anything no, special? No, I probably would lay down. Okay, for this and just kind of rest. Yeah. What's your passive perception? Where's that information? It's 10. Uh, so you kind of have to do the math yourself. 10 plus your wisdom modifier. Uh, so it's just you take your perception and add 10. Perception plus 4. 14. Plus 10. 14. Okay. Um, you don't really hear anything or see anything, but you feel the hairs on the back of your neck stand on end. Um, and 
you know, I mean, being a spellcaster, you know the feeling of when you cast a spell. You know, kind of the the energy that it brings to the room. Definitely. Okay. Um, and this is big. You've never felt this level of magic before. Um, and it's you feel it intensely uh, for a split second, and then it goes. Okay, can I do an arcana check? Sure. Uh, 15. 15. Um, it's, I mean, it's magic, like, I mean, because magic feels differently when you cast it, when Bishop casts it, when um, Gimbal casts it. And it's definitely, it has the feeling of a wizard casting a spell, a large spell. Okay, I go right to Gimbal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gimbal, Nine. I sense something large, magical. I don't sense it anymore. Like um, something was casting a big spell. With the fifteen, could she describe do I know, it enough? Do I know like how far, and I don't know how far away. No, I mean it was kind of this overwhelming feeling, like it was everywhere. Um, you can't pinpoint. I mean, it could have been a hundred yards away. It could have been a mile away. It could have been next door. Okay. Uh, with your fifteen, you can't pinpoint it's where it was. The middle of the night. Uh, middle of the night. Yeah. yeah. I don't know exactly how this would work. Um, but like with an arcana check, could I just try to like get a feel for the weave? No. Okay. Not really. Okay. If you had to detect magic, can you see traces of it? Mm, you can no. I would say with a, you cast a deck magic. Okay. Um and you don't see any traces of magic happening or anything like that around it or mm -hmm. kind of any breaks in the weave. Um Based on her explanation, right? You've been with Momford when he casts higher level spells, which, like, if you're right next to him, you can definitely feel the backlash of those spells, um, but nothing to that extent. And I've seen him cast like up eighth. Of, You've seen like, him like seventh level. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, seventh level or so. You've never seen him kind of pull out the big guns. Well, that's disconcerting. Momford can cast the big guns. He has higher than seventh level mm -hmm. spells. <laughs> that's why. That's why he. That's why I, I, he's, he's my mentor. <laughs> I mean, just usually like NPC wizards, like sixth level, seventh level spells. <laughs> he's he's like, traveling to hell <laughs> to deal with it. Yeah, gates like a second level. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you're not able to discern any more information from her explanation. Okay. I go check on everybody else. Okay. Make sure they're all okay. Yeah. Um, sleeping. Sleep ash. <laughs> so you're you're done with your rest. So you're able to oh. get your six hours in. So well, he only needs four. I checked the the elf. Uh, four hours equates to eight hours for a human. Okay. I'm probably just hanging out. Walking okay. Around. Chilling. Yeah. Cool. I tell you what's going on. Uh, that I sense this magic. Um, I think I'm going to do a perimeter of. I'm going to walk a perimeter of the grounds. Do you... Turn with me. Sure, do you want me to go with you? Do you want me to do one like opposite direction? Oh, yeah, or? maybe we'll walk opposite okay. and then meet again on the other end. Or stick together. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're stick going. together. Okay, we right, stick just, together. I mean, <laughs> safer, I guess, yeah. Okay, well, did you want to come too? I don't know. I just left you and checked everyone Oh, out. I mean, I had to go back to bed. Yeah, to get his full rest. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we go outside. <laughs> yeah, do uh, perception checks, each of you guys. That's not too bad. 22. 22. You have an awkward feeling where you don't feel the warm touch on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 18. 18. You start calling 22s Taylor Swift. I got a Taylor Swift. <laughs> go. Go. Leave. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so you, you check around the grounds. You don't see anything out of place. You don't feel any kind of outward uh, magic being cast. It's a quiet night. It's nice out. Um, it's a full moon. Kind of stars are out. Really, really nice weather. Um, do you check any other rooms other than your family? I probably wouldn't have. Okay. No, I probably just checked on everybody to make sure that they were safe. I probably wasn't looking for... That would make sense to try and look for other casters in our actual house. Yeah. 
Oh, I didn't think about that. That we, we could, I would know who was a caster in the house. Mm -hmm. So who would I? Who is? A, who do I know that's a caster in the house? That's a wizard. So there yeah. are four wizards in Sealcry, two of which were out on contract. Um, the other two, you know for a fact, they don't have the chops to catch cast something that large. Okay. Um, but yeah, we should check Mika. Oh yeah, I prefer. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, I saw her trying to sneak into. Okay, we go check on Mika now. <laughs> okay. Um, are you stealthing there? Are you kind of going in? Are you knocking? What's how are you checking? I'll just blast the door. <laughs> <laughs> Mika, <laughs> wake up the whole house. <laughs> Dash, do you think you should go in there sneakily, or should I just not? I mean, we didn't we rule that you can't open a door with someone? Or if they're asleep. Yeah, if there's, I mean, if they're like in a room with a door, but if they're sleeping, you can open it up. And if sure. nothing else, Dream could always like crab walk grudge style into the window. Yeah, if I know anything from scaring Jess when I like open the door and come to bed at night, then you can 100% sneak up on somebody. <laughs> Jess is his wife, not some random person. <laughs> <laughs> what was I talking about, a random person? <laughs> <laughs> Just everyone saw the scones at random home, like, good night, honey. Uh, <laughs> happenstance, also named Jess. <laughs> 26 stealth. 26, yeah, you open up the door, quiet as the night, you sneak in. There's no Mika. No Mika? No Mika. Is the, uh, I, okay, I tell Dream. Um, I check the windows window I show you the sidewalk <laughs> she's not here <laughs> um is the window open is it closed the window's closed Any I mean we've no. been gone she could have not been here this entire yeah, time yeah I'll true. set an alarm spell for her window and door but you're asleep oh yeah I can't I can yeah. do it I got um, you got alarm as well I got alarm as well yeah okay this is after sleep. your Rest, we'll say. So you're going to be missing that spell. Oh, no, she it's a cantrip a for mine. Oh, okay, cool. Because um, it's a ritual that I'm going okay. to say. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Suffer! Suffer. Wee -woo. That's alarm for now. <laughs> wee woo, wee woo. Wee woo, wee woo. All right. She just whispers it into the string. Wee woo. Wee woo. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to confront every member of Steel Cry now. What do you think? <laughs> right now? I Someone mean, must know where she went. Right now? I don't think right right now there is be necessarily the best Steel idea. Cry, right? <laughs> and you know she was trying to get into Sven's office. So Dash is really weird for Steel Cry. We right? should check Sven's office. Half then. elf, right? She Are you a full elf or half elf? You're full, I'm full. Full. Half Full what elf? Yeah, I mean, why? Sure. Why not? Let's do that. We're going to go check Sven's office now. <laughs> start with Musa. Um, yeah, maybe we should start with Musa's office. Or was it Musa's office? That guy. It was Sven, but I mean. What office was she trying to break into? Sven's. In? Okay, I want to go there first. Okay. We'll go to his office. Oh my god, if she stole all his figurines, we're in so much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> As you go into Sven's office, don't have to be sneaky about it. You know, he doesn't live or he doesn't um, stay in his office at night. Um, make an investigation, both of you. Uh, 15. 15? 13. 13. Um, you don't see any outward signs. You don't see anything like rustled over, drawers pulled open. You do notice that the chimera that he was working on is missing. He probably just took it home with him. He lives still crying. He doesn't. He lives off. Oh, do he lives on the, the campus, house. but not yeah. in the building. Okay. 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 So quickly you think we whittle, should wait? Quickly whittle the chimera. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so you think we should wait before confronting the rest of the house? Yeah, I mean, nothing happened. Like, no one's hurt that we know of. I don't think that this is like a let's raise all hell thing. Just because I don't want to piss everyone off. Okay. Reasonable. I'm going to patrol the halls then the for the rest of the night. Yeah. Okay. On the ceiling. <laughs> that will definitely take up your spell slots. <laughs> <laughs> no, she doesn't use the spell slots for that. It's an invocation. 
No, the spider climb is. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <a third level. laughs> that was one of your implications. Like, no, cool. uh. <laughs> I'd love that. Me, me, me. Um, yeah, nothing else happening the rest of the night. Uh, you see, the, as dawn raises. <laughs> you know, getting too sleep doesn't make a lot of sense because if we went to bed at like six, we woke up at like two in the morning. Yeah, but then like, <laughs> that would put you off cycle for like yeah, yeah. it's just weird. Yeah, <laughs> well, we were just like relaxing. And yeah, then and then to bed went to bed. like a regular time. That's why I, I had took some of that time to look over the schematic and. Oh, I was definitely early. Yeah, yeah. which was very interesting. Um, you were sleeping. Yeah, you were asleep before we even got home. Yeah. Because really? we went out for four hours after you started sleeping. Oh, no, but you... We were saying that, like, went home and, like, relaxed and then went to bed at a regular time. Oh, hour. got it. Yeah. I got it, got it, got it. Without got this it. routine. Like, okay. What's your, what's your, what's your, what's your, you yes. wake up to my face right next to your face. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Not even Good face. Good morning. I think something may have happened overnight. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm sorry to wake you up with bad news. Or it could be good news. I guess the spell could have been a good thing. I felt a spell. I tell you what happened. <laughs> Rook listens very patiently and then goes, I have no idea what any of that means. <laughs> <laughs> I um. told you. I did. I wanted to make sure you knew. Did Gimbal panic or anything? No, he went back to bed. Okay. Well, then he's probably fine. <laughs> so you don't think I should interrogate everybody on the floor? I mean, if you feel like it, it's fine. Okay, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Good luck, sweetie. <laughs> Was there anything in the paper the next morning like that like Ooh. happened overnight that we can see or... Um, no, nothing, nothing out of the norm. You do around, uh, eight o'clock, you hear, Who took it? Oh, oh no. He, Sven slams the door open. All right, guild meeting now! And he, like, ushers everybody into the, the, uh, chow hall. He comes up on his dais. Um, he kind of shouts at Muzo to shut up. Ho, 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 ho. Who took my chimera? Gimbal, get a head count. <laughs> I think a head count. Of the okay. room. <laughs> you see that um, Mika is missing, and one of the newer uh, uh, members is missing. The one you did paperwork for, uh, Mazarin. Who seemed normal. Yeah. Who had good paperwork. Mm hmm. <laughs> His pedigree was fine. <laughs> what? What was he? What was he? He was an elf. Um, he. You didn't really know much more about that. About he his, didn't have uh, like skill sets in the okay. No. Um, it was set up for either today or tomorrow to test the three initiates to see kind of their and the other two capacity. are still here. Yeah. And Mika's alarm never went off. Mika's alarm never went off. No. So I kind of like sensitively raise my hand. I didn't take it, but then I tell you what I saw with Mika is trying to sneak into your office, and then what I saw the night before. If it was Mika or Mazarin, that I mean, I guess that's assuming these things are connected. That means that Mazarin would have been an incredibly high level wizard. Check their rooms. Bring me anything weird. I go check Mazarin's room. Okay, check uh, for traps. Investigation. Or traps, if you want to check for traps. You sure, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just for in that case. little bonus. A seventeen plus <laughs> twenty one. Twenty one? No yeah. tracks. No. Um it's weird. You check the entire room and all of this stuff is here. He packed light. He had one bag, kind of a few changes of clothes. Um but everything's here. Uh, it doesn't it, look Mark. like it's we shouldn't in. show any remorse for any character ever again. We get it. <laughs> uh, I'll detect magic on the room. Sure. Oh, there's no roll. Okay. Cool. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't see anything. You don't see anything magical in the room itself. Um, <laughs> sorry, bro. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> roll an investigation for me. Here. Thank you. <laughs> Investigation, you said? Just imagine Bishop going around and like high fiving people right before they start stuff. <laughs> you could do it. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Uh, 26. 26. Um, you look in kind of any of the spots you think uh, a magic item would be hidden. Um, you do find 
uh, a smaller box. Um, box itself is lined with uh, really thick metals and all the different uh, walls of it, probably like yay big. Um, <clears throat> you don't, I mean, you feel like this was there to block any kind of magic penetration or magic, uh, like being able to find it, mm -hmm. but nothing in it. Nothing in it. Nothing empty. in it. Uh, I'm going to keep that box. Okay. Because it's a, it's a possibly magic safe box. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to write that down as magic safe Thanks. box. Um, while everyone's doing okay. that, I'm going to head down to the market and the people I know who do resale. So, like, people who, like, like pawn shops. Okay. Uh, and see if I can't, like, just ask around with a, a description of Mazarin and Nico. Uh, do an investigation. Somebody want to come with me? I'll work with them. Well, you're working out what you're doing. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I was yeah. probably going to so stay in only guard. Dream. That could go. I'm huh. I don't know why I'm always advanced. <laughs> I'm so used to being a barbarian. I, like, I roll everything with advantage, right? <laughs> <laughs> advantage, advantage. Um, can I investigate with my strengths? <laughs> <laughs> is it over here? Is it, an, <laughs> is it an artifact? <laughs> nice. Fourteen. Uh, fourteen. You ask around uh, some of your your you regular sure spots in the bazaar. If I you're trying to find wrong. information, no. Yeah. Um, what if I intimidate them? <laughs> I mean, well, let's see what we get first, okay. and then we'll. Try you it. might get a false confession out of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I saw him. Yeah, you went that way. <laughs> um, yeah, with that roll, you uh, go to your your uh, regular haunts, and no one has seemed to uh, pick up a description of them. So nobody's tried to sell anything. No one. He hasn't come to the market, try to buy or sell anything. Or Mika. Uh, Mika was uh, came through one of the shops. And tried to sell the um, chimera. Chimera. Um, they didn't take it because they didn't think it was good enough. Uh, they didn't think they would get any much of like resale value on it. Um, so I ask him, she so took what it. What shop buys shitty wood carving? <laughs> I mean, I don't know of many of them. Uh, all of our stuff is high quality. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. yeah, like, for sure. Asking, like, if you were to uh, see that kind of thing sold. Come on, there must be some guy you I mean, sell shit. I mean, the Tainted True. I mean, they kind of oh, sell right, right. really bad things. Off to the Tainted True. Thank okay. you for your time, sir. Yeah. Uh, if you see her again, tell her that Rook's looking for her and he's not pleased. Okay. <laughs> High five. <laughs> you know, would you like a favor from me? Then you're going to have to pay, buddy. Whatever. Don't worry Don't about it. Don't let her know we're coming. Yeah, fine. All Don't right. warn her. That's fine. Come back. Tell her to hide. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, you make tell sure you hide. tell her to hide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. Uh, see I'm ya. assuming if I don't pay, you do the opposite, right? I just don't do anything. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Next time we're in a uh, street brawl, make sure I get thrown into this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tainted true. Unless you guys want to do something, I'm, I'm not trying to make. Oh, I mean, I was. I think I accomplished that. Go back to town, not really town, but um, we'll go out and look with that way. This is kind of happening at the same time. Since so. I knew she was here, can I use survival to try and pick up a trail? Sure. It's gonna be really high because I have a plus five. Okay, so maybe I have a plus five. Mm -hmm. I said, no. what? Look at so, me. Me. I know, I know. <laughs> it's cute. Uh, that's a 21. Yeah, I mean, you see something that looks like kind of the, the small tracks uh, of what you think Mika would be, but there's so many tracks here. Uh, the, we do go to the Tainted True. Though. Yep, Tainted True. Um, you do see uh, the Chimera hanging up on the wall. Okay. Um, How much for that Chimera? Uh, 10 gold. Okay. I can't be oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Yeah. You know for sure this is Sven's, right? <laughs> okay, it's like a man. Do you do any kind of engraving? <gasps> I mean, for the right price, what would you like to engrave? I just want on the bottom of it to say Master Craftsman Sven. Okay. Uh, give me a gold. Okay. Subtract 11 gold. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Or do you have other goals? I have, yeah, I have some goals. I, we can take it from mine because it's just mine. <laughs> um, 15 minutes later, he brings it back on the uh, bottom of it. It's actually really well scribed. Um, and uh, he kind of looks really proud about it. Wow, <laughs> Thank you. you go. Yeah. <laughs> Come again. Uh. Also, have you seen a, a halfling woman? No. How did you get so this? Uh, that I've had for years. So this is intimidate. <laughs> so <laughs> wait, wait, this is intimidate. But I've seen Sven's chimera. Mm-hmm. This is his. Yep. This motherfucker's lying to us. <laughs> I'm not having it. We just paid ten gold for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, crap. That's probably why he thinks you guys are dumb. Eleven. Twenty-three. Did you just call out my roll book? No, no. Okay, because <laughs> I rolled eleven. I got gotcha. you. No, <laughs> and then another one. Yes. <laughs> but thanks for telling the rule. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Yeah. Um, he kind of backtracks real fast. Oh uh, no, no, yeah, I've definitely seen her. Yeah, she was back here uh, three hours ago. Uh, uh-huh. Sold it to me for uh, a pretty good price. I gave her uh, two gold for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She said where she was going. No. Great. No, 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 no. She didn't. She left. I think she went, she went that way. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Yes. We'll return uh, to buy your high-quality, not-stolen goods in the future. Thank you. Yes. Which this was, <clears throat> just so you know. High-quality? I know. No, stolen. Oh. Yes. Ah. As we're walking out, I'm tempted to start a fire in his shop. No, 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 no. Sweetie, we were working on that, but if you have to. (laughs) I understand you gotta let those urges out sometimes. You understand, kids. It will be better to come back when it's night. That way more things will burn. I know, but we paid so much for this thing that was stolen from us, and he, you know, made so much money off of it. Please don't burn my shop. I know, but we, you know, like... Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't burn my shop, please. So, I mean, you paid two gold for it. Yeah. I did. And we nice paid 11. Uh huh. <laughs> He's pretty dense. <laughs> so, you give us the. So, you just break even. But you paid for it. Yeah. So, we're now asking for a refund now that we know for a fact no, it was stolen. No refunds. It's all, all right. right. All right. Yeah. Lock up tight tonight. Okay. <laughs> Please don't burn my shop. <laughs> All right, you had your opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> you know how teenagers are. I can't control her. <laughs> she doesn't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's why I neutral good because the not going to do so. <laughs> Teenagers scare the witch. <laughs> okay. Um, we leave so. the shop. We do not set it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Again, next time we're in a street brawl, maybe a fireball flies this way. This might be the one. We need to take down both of the wood carving shops. <laughs> Sadly, we're going to so take them both out. I rush in and it's like, Sven, Sven, Sven. It was Watch. supposed to be a surprise because your birthday's coming up. Yes. But we got your carving engraved <laughs> for your birthday. Oh, you got it in gra- oh. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, buddy. I'm sorry I scared you so much. No, I didn't it's... mean to. I need a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and he walks into us. <laughs> Why did you lie to Gimble, me? Gimble comes <laughs> Wait, he walked away. Gimble comes out of the bedroom hallway. Did you tell Sven that Mika was the one that stole the chimera yet? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he had closed the door by that point. <laughs> I told him that. I time. look at you and go, sorry, pick you up. <laughs> <laughs> what you, why, we talked about this. This is disrespectful. <laughs> I fixed it. I fixed it. But we still have to... Mika yes, can't be yes. here. That's fine. That's fine. But Sven's happy. <laughs> so... We took Sven's figurine, got it engraved, and then gave it to him for his birthday. Did you lie to him so that we could kill her instead of him? Well, so that we can deal with our own mess without it reflecting badly on our place in the guild. Also, we should have Dash put a nice lock on Sven's office door. <laughs> why am I putting, I why am I putting a lock? Because you understand locks. <laughs> okay, <sorry. laughs> 
don't think other Rook people doesn't understand that things. breaking locks and making locks aren't the same. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't think other people are going to steal his carvings, though. I'm really surprised you got what you got for <laughs> Unless he was lying. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Dang it. I go talk to some of the other spellcasters. The two other spellcasters sure. that were in this place. Rook picks up his bathroom book and goes to the bathroom for a while. The bathroom book. The bathroom he's a, book. His man throne. His man throne. He's got a What a is his thick, bathroom book? I don't know. Some book that, that he... Uh, it's uh, Yennefer and the Giants. Yeah, sure. Yennefer and the Giants. All right. Oh, it's that kind of that bathroom kind book. That kind of bathroom book. <laughs> <laughs> It's not Yennefer and the Giants, though. He it's, likes the articles. Yansen and the Giants. <laughs> <laughs> Yansen and the Giants. It's the alternate yeah. edition. <laughs> no, it's Yennefer and the Giants from the Giants perspective. <laughs> the Giants who didn't participate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I guess Sven wouldn't really mind if there was both sides of the street, would he? Yeah. <laughs> wouldn't. Um, all right. With that craziness done, what is everyone else doing? Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find any more information on Mazarin. Okay. To figure out like if there's anything I can do to find him. I know that locate creature and I, we don't bother you during that time. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's Rook's special time. That's like in a case of emergency kind of knock on the door. Um, <laughs> in a case of an emergency, you know where he is. Um, and see for the record, anywhere. he's not masturbating. He's just you know like my dad would <laughs> always go to the bathroom and just sit in the. Maybe that's <laughs> <laughs> I hate to break to you, buddy. <laughs> oh, wow. So many things. So many wow, answers. I didn't think my childhood was gonna get ruined tonight. Which <laughs> <laughs> is impressive. Oh. <laughs> he had sex with so many people. <laughs> <laughs> all this masturbation. Oh We're God. a PG stream. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Good night, guys. Is something we should Good night. Our children. <laughs> no, but, but <laughs> so moving on from this conversation, um, I know that locate creature is a fourth level spell, so I can't really do anything about that because even if I buy a spell scroll, it's going to be expensive and it's not. Uh, what about locate object? Um, I don't have an object of his that I would know. Well, I mean, what? Which of his clothes are missing? None. None. None of None. his. So he's naked wherever he is. Seemingly. And it doesn't seem like you left in a hurry. It's just gone. Yeah, I mean, it, he's mm. just gone. Is he, there anything his, missing? His clothes were folded neatly on the bed. Uh, the bag, the one bag he traveled with, um, was uh, kind of right next to the bed underneath the nightstand. We should definitely talk to he's that about that. He's streaking through the night. Nothing was missing from any of our rooms, correct? Uh, from you, what you guys can tell, no. Okay. Like has so few things. Yeah. Still had kind of the tinkers, tools, the like mm -hmm. um plans and whatnot from Before we get too distracted with this, uh -huh. just because we keep forgetting we do it every 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 episode, we would like to move Gimbal's parents to the country with his country. Yeah, with kin. the country gnomes. Okay. So we wanna whatever we need to do to make those arrangements, we wanna try and get that established this episode. Okay, we could say you write um, your country relatives uh, a nice letter and send it off with Philip to okay. see if they can find them. We've just been meaning to do that okay. for a couple episodes. Yes. Yeah. yeah okay. I, so I'll, um, <laughs> okay. Dear Clampets. <laughs> but anyway, continue. Yes. I'm sorry. I just wanted to Oh, make no, thank sure. you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was all. I was just trying to figure out if there's anything we could figure mm -hmm. out for why he disappeared aside from the box. With a, I have a feeling since it's 1024, that's going to be next episode. <laughs> Yep. Okay. <laughs> um, as you're doing this, as you're going, uh, kind of finding Muzo, seeing if you can find the paperwork, going through his room a little bit more, um, you see that um, as you're passing the uh, the Chow Hall, you see coming through the front door is Wamford and Penny. <gasps> oh no! And uh, Wamford sees you right away, kind of comes up and says, "Gimbal, my boy, do you have some time to talk?" Uh, of course. All right. I get the box out and hand it to him. And that's where we'll end the session. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, thank you guys so much for hanging around with us. Um, yep, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> really cool, chaotic episode. Um, we'll be back next week with World of Darkness Starfinder.
Oh, yeah, that means we had yeah. only two weeks to find out what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Um, again, actually, thank- I can't do World of Zach. Can you cover for me? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I can't do, I'll do a one finder. shot. Let's do yeah. a four hour TV. Let's do a four hour DD. Yeah. Um, thanks again for tuning in. Sorry, uh, this one. I guess it's not tuning too late. Um, but yeah, we'll be back next week with uh, some more episodes of MMM Cast, and we'll come up with a tagline eventually. Eventually. Okay. Thanks, friends. I have a guess. So now that wasn't on the stream, but it was recorded.